This is the first lesson in working with sequential files. You will learn how to create a file. The first step is to open the file. This is the syntax. Begin with open, then the file handle name, and then a string that identifies the actual file name and the open mode. The file handle is simply what you choose to call the file within your Perl script. The mode tells Perl how we plan to use the file. In this case, we're using the greater than symbol, which means we are creating a new file. You want to be careful with this mode. If you should open a file for output that already exists, that file and all of its data are deleted. The portion of our string that is represented here as file name is the actual operating system file name. Once we've opened the file for output, we can print to it by simply specifying the file handle name with our output statements. It's always a good idea to close your files when you're done with them. This allows the operating system to make the file available to whatever application might want to use it. I wrote a Perl script that will create a file of employees and each record will consist of the employee's last name, first name, and job title. Now what's highlighted here is the open statement. I'm opening the file handle employees, but within my single quotes I've got a greater than symbol, so I'm creating a new file, and the name of that file is personnel. This is where I am writing to my data file. Notice I'm saying print and the file handle name employees. Here I am closing access to the file personnel by saying close the file handle name employees. Let's run our script. We're creating a new file and we're being asked for a last name. I'll give it my last name, then my first name, and we'll say that I'm the CEO. Now it's asking for a second last name. I'll type in Cavalier, Grace, Administrative, Assistant. Now let's uh, put in one more. Sorens and Bonnie, Artistic Director. Let's quit, so we'll just press return, and we're done. I'm going to clear, and let's cat out our personnel file using the cat Unix command to list the contents of the file. And there they are. You should be reading Learning Pearls, 6th edition. Next time we'll learn how to read data out of our file.